Good morning, this is Shine Mansion. Political science, chapter number four, gender, religion, and caste. Part one, glossary. Number one, gender. Gender refers to the socially constructed characteristics of women and men, such as norms, roles, and relationships of, and between groups of women and men. Number two, religion. The belief in and worship of a superhuman controlling power, especially a personal god or gods. Number three, caste. Each of the hereditary class of Hindu society, distinguished by relative degrees of ritual purity or pollution and of social status. Number four, social diversity. Is the differences seen in a particular society? In the case of religion, culture, economic status, etc. Number five, inequality. Difference in size, degree, circumstances, etc. Lack of equality. Number six, gender division. Refers to division of work between the men and women. Point, the gender division also doesn't mean that women do not work outside their home. Number seven, hierarchy. A system in which members of an organization or society are ranked according to relative status. Number eight, stereotype. A widely held but fixed and oversimplified image or idea of a particular type of person or thing. Number nine, sexual division of life is the delegation of different tasks between males and females. Number 10, middle class. The social group between the upper and working classes, including professional and business people and their families. Number 11, suffragette. A woman seeking the right to vote through organized protest. Number 12, radical especially of change or action relating to or affecting the fundamental nature of something. Number 13, feminist, a person who supports the advocacy of women's rights on the ground of the equality of the sexes. Number 14, political mobilization, attempt to mobilize the population to participate in elections and other voting events. Number 15, Scandinavia. Scandinavia is a sub-region in Northern Europe with a strong historical, cultural, and linguistic ties. Number 16, Scandinavian countries. Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. Norway's capital is Oslo, Sweden's Stockholm, and Denmark's Copenhagen. In broader definition, includes Finland and Iceland, Finland's capital Helsinki and Iceland, Reykjavik. The correct term for all these five countries, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Finland and Iceland together is the Nordic countries. Number 17, patriarchy, a system of society, a government in which the father or eldest male is head of the family and descent is reckoned through the male line. Number 18, disadvantage, a condition or circumstance that puts one in an unfavorable or inferior position. Number 19, discrimination, the unjust or prejudicial treatment of different categories of people, especially on the grounds of race age or sex. Number 20, oppression, prolonged, cruel, or unjust treatment or exercise of authority. Number 21, the Equal Remuneration Act, an enacted, enacted law to prevent discrimination between workers on grounds of gender. Number 22, abortion, the deliberate termination of a human pregnancy, most often performed during the first 28 weeks of pregnancy. Number 23, sex ratio, 
is the ratio of males to females in a population. Number 24, harassment, aggressive pressure or intimidation. Number 25, exploitation. Make full use of and derive benefit from a particular source. Number 26, domestic violence. Is violence or other abuse in a domestic setting? Number 27, women's movements to combat sexual discrimination or to gain full legal, economic, vocational, educational, and social rights and opportunities for women equal to those of men. Number 28, Latin America generally refers to territories in the Americas where the Spanish, Portuguese, or French languages prevail, Mexico, most of Central and South America, and in the Caribbean, Cuba, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, and Puerto Rico. Number 29, consensus, a general agreement. Number 30, communalism, a principle of allegiance to one's own ethnic group rather than to the wider society. Number 31, politics, the activities associated with the governance of a country or area, especially the debate between parties having power. Number 32, religious diversity, is the fact that there are significant differences in religious belief and practice. Number 33, separatism, the advocacy or practice of separation of a certain group of people from a large body on the basis of ethnicity, religion, or gender. Number 34, moral, a lesson that can be derived from a story or experience. Number 35, ethical, relating to moral principles, govern a person's behavior or conducting of an activity. Number 36, human rights activist is a person who individually or with others acts to promote or protect human rights, can be journalists, environmentalists, whistleblowers, trade unionists, lawyers, teachers, housing campaigners, or just individuals acting alone. Number 37, communal rights, clashes between two or more communities, owing to clashes of communal interest. Number 38, family laws is a legal practice area that focuses on issues involving family relationships, such as adoption, divorce, etc. Number 39, idea, a thought or suggestion as to a possible course of action. Number 40, ideal is a model of something perfect or without equal. Number 41, nationalism is an ideology and movement that promotes interest of a particular nation, especially with the aim of gaining and maintaining the nation's sovereignty, closely linked to patriotism. Number 42, exclusion, the process of excluding or the state of being excluded. Number 43, partisan, a strong supporter of a party, cause, or person. Number 44, communal politics. It's politics based on religious grounds for attaining short-term selfish goals. Number 45, social community. It's a group of like-minded individuals connected by interactions. Number 46, community. It's all the people living in an area or a group or a group of people who share a common interest. Number 47, superficial. Existing or occurring at or on the surface. Number 48, immaterial, unimportant, under the circumstances, irrelevant. Number 49, prejudice. Prejudice, preconceived opinion that is not based on reason or actual experience. Number 50, majoritarian dominance. A majority of the population is entitled to a certain degree of privacy in society. 51, sacred, connected with God or a God or dedicated to a religious purpose, and so deserving veneration. Number 52, riot, a violent disturbance of the peace by a crowd. Number 53, massacre, an indiscriminate and brutal slaughter of many people. Number 54, secularism, 
is belief system that rejects religion or the belief that religion should not be part of the affairs of the state or part of the public education. Number 55, freedom of religion is a principle that supports the freedom of an individual or community in public or private to manifest religion or belief in teaching, practice, worship and observance. Number 56, untouchability. Segregating a minority group from the mainstream by social custom or legal mandate. Number 57, propaganda. Information especially on a biased or misleading nature used to promote a political cause or point of view. Number 58, casteism refers to one-sided loyalty in favor of a particular caste. Number 59, hereditary of a title, office, or right conferred by or based on inheritance. Number 60, ritual is a ceremony or action performed in a customary way. Number 61, outcast, a person who has no caste or a person who is expelled from their caste. Number 62, literacy is the ability to read and write one's own name and further for knowledge and interest write coherently and think critically about the written word number 63 occupational mobility is the ability of life to switch between different occupations number 64 landlord is the system whereby a land is owned by landlords to whom tenants pay a fixed rent Number 65, tribe, a social division in a traditional society consisting of families or communities linked by social, economic, religious, or blood ties with a common culture and dialect, typically having a uh, recognized leader. Number 66, caste sentiments, refined or tender emotion, manifestation of the higher or refined feelings. Number 67, Universal adult franchise means that the right to vote should be given to all adult citizens without the discrimination of caste, class, color, religion, or gender. Number 68. Consciousness. The state of being aware of and responsive to one's surroundings. Number 69. Constituency. A group of artists in a specified area who elect a representative to a legislative body. Number 70, vote bank, refers to a loyal block of voters from a single community who consistently back a certain candidate or political formation in democratic elections. Number 71, political party, is a, an organized group of people who have the same ideology or who otherwise have the same political positions and who feel candidates for elections in an attempt to get them elected and thereby implement the party's agenda. Number 72, ruling party or governing party or political party in a democratic parliamentary system is the current political party or collision of the majority in parliament that administers the affairs of state. Number 73, coalition a temporary alliance for combined action, especially of political parties forming a government. Number 74, backward class, is a collective term used by the government of India for castes which are economically and socially disadvantaged and face or may have faced discrimination on account of birth. Number 75, forward class, is a term used in India to denote a social group that is ahead of other Indians on an average of economic and social friend. Number 76, Dalits, a member of the lowest caste in the traditional Indian caste system. Number 77, other backward classes, is a collective term used by the government of India to classify caste which are educationally or socially disadvantaged. Number 78, dignity, the state or quality of being, worthy or honor or respect, a composed or serious manner 
or style. Number 79. Corruption, dishonest or fraudulent conduct by those in power, typically involving bribery. And number 80. Conflict, a serious disagreement or argument, typically a protracted one.